Well, recently, some of you guys might have seen this article that was being circulated. It was on the Voyagers Wolf Project up on the Voyagers National Park up in northeastern Minnesota. They've collared a bunch of wolves. And this article it came out, I think, in early November. It basically stated that the wolf numbers were in pretty significant decline for, you know, in terms of wolf population. They said this past year they're down 19% and over the two year period they're down 30, I think it was 31%, something like that. So a fairly healthy drop. Now, normally I'm skeptical of all these wolf numbers that the DNR puts out. Um, that's maybe a whole topic for a different video, but uh, it, this article, when it did come out, you know, a couple months ago, it, it kind of caught my attention because I was actually talking with a buddy not long before that, and we were both agreeing how it seems like there have been fewer wolves around. Uh, now, I don't live um, up in the Voyagers National Park, um, and where we gun hunt up in northeastern Minnesota, that's, pro you know, that's to the south and west of Voyagers National Park. But um, it, it was kind of an interesting article, the timing of it because we seemed to notice the same thing and that's what i'm talking about in this video and i'm i'm curious what you guys who hunt minnesota wisconsin michigan southern ontario put down in the comments what you guys noticed this past fall for wolf numbers did did you think there were more than the prior years did you think there were less just based on what you're seeing via trail cams or maybe you even saw one from the stand this year um, let me know what you guys think about overall wolf numbers this is a topic that always interests me. Um, you guys know my stance on wolves. I, I think it's utterly insane and, and ridiculous that we don't have a state managed um, hunting season on them. All the biologists agree that the wolves have you know, far exceeded their recovery goals in the upper Midwest. Um, the populations could handle a managed harvest each year. So, and I'm preaching to the choir here with most of you guys. Um, we don't need to beat that horse to death, but um, th this video is more so just kind of on this article, I found it really interesting that that particular group of wolves that they had collared up in the Voyagers National Park was in decline because it wasn't just one buddy of mine that I had talked to who noticed this. It was actually two buddies who, who kind of live up that way, up on the western side of the Arrowhead region. And they both remarked about how they had fewer wolves on camera and fewer overall sightings the last year or two. And that matches actually what we've seen on our trail cameras up where we gun hunt in northeastern Minnesota. We've seen a decline, we believe, in wolves on camera um, over the past, I would say this last year, I'll say. Now, sample size is a little bit of an issue. We run probably, I would say, eight to ten cameras up there each year. And it's really been, you know, pretty consistent. We get wolves on our mock scrapes they're on all the trails you know we'll get them throughout the fall every once in a while we see one from the deer stand uh, but this past year i would say it was a little bit down um, which is interesting and, and a couple buddies of mine who live and hunt around there said the same thing guys who spend a lot of time in the woods and, and then that article on the voyagers wolf project seemed to corroborate that so it was also kind of funny and a little bit interesting that in that same article they said that the something to the effect of the, the deer population has crashed so badly in this area that you know the wolf population had no choice but to succumb, you know, to to decline just because the deer are, I think they said it was a 50% decrease in the deer population uh, from the some of the tough recent winters, the 21, 22, 22, 23 winters. Now there could be a pretty good uh, convergence of factors coming together in northern Minnesota right now. I'm thinking probably northern Wisconsin, maybe even northern Michigan. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are seeing over that way. But we've had two easy winners in a row and potentially lower wolf numbers now. Um, again, this is an unscientific uh, you know, set of data that me and my friends are looking at here, but this wolf, Voyager's Wolf Project, I mean, the collared wolves, that doesn't lie. They're in decline, they're saying. We could have lower wolf numbers. At the same time, we're getting kind of a rebound in the whitetail population just due to easy winters. So in a way, I'm really hopeful that up in that northeastern part of the state, we're going to see higher deer numbers overall. Um, for those of you living and hunting up in the Arrowhead region of Minnesota, 
I'm sure the UP of Michigan, some, some of those areas over to the east of us. Um, it, dreadful, I don't think describes it. it. It's been so bad. The deer population is in such disrepair and has been beaten down so badly between the wolf, the just the you know unrestrained wolf population and, and predation from wolves and then the severe winters we've had. It's just been terrible deer hunting up there in northeastern Minnesota over the past five, 10 years. And so I'm really hopeful that can come back. Um, is it going to come back next year? I don't know, but at least I'm seeing a positive trajectory where we're at kind of on that western side of the Arrowhead region. So uh, the other thing I'll note is this past fall, we saw more young bucks than we've seen in a long time up there. We've seen more deer, young deer, I'm um, talking yearlings and two yearling bucks and two year old bucks. There are almost no bucks up there, <laughs> at least where we were, where we're at that are three years old, four years old, five years old. Um, it, it, it was really kind of shocking what our trail camera photos showed us this year. Um, it's just a lot of young deer up there, um, which is encouraging for the future, uh, but a little bit discouraging in the sense that it seems like the, that those older classes of bucks have just been completely wiped out from harsh winters and, and just the wolf pressure, the predation pressure. So, um, we are hopeful looking forward. We had some, some pretty cool bucks coming up. Um, we got, we got some good 10 point genetics that, you know, up in that whole Northeastern Minnesota area, uh, one of the cool things is has a lot lower human hunting pressure. So you don't get that selective thinning out of the best genetics over and over and over each year. Like you would get in heavily gun hunted areas where people are always shooting the biggest two-year-old and the biggest three-year-old out of the whole bunch. So um, you got 10 point genetics, um, better genetics, things like that. Um, if those deer can get older, if they can survive, um, it could be, it could be an incredible few years coming up. It's all going to depend, I think on the, the rest of this winter. And if we can string together a few more easy winters here with a suppressed wolf population, uh, we might really have something again in northern Minnesota. Just Mother Nature may give us another bite at this apple of good, the good old days, potentially. At least we're always hopeful. We're kind of the eternal optimists up there. The, the deer hunting has been pretty poor over the past how many years. But um, these are some of the things we've observed this past fall. And, you know, I am really curious to hear what you guys saw again. If you're in northern Wisconsin, Michigan, UP, things like that, the Dakotas. Southern Ontario, Southwest Ontario. Let me know what you guys were seeing this fall. We love following this stuff and kind of keeping tabs and keeping track of where it's at. But I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, did you see more or less wolves than the year before? I'm curious about that. Um, I'm gonna keep bringing videos like this. I'm hoping I can bring another video to you guys in mid-February that where I can kind of you know plant the flag and, and claim victory and say we got another easy winter finally. Um, I'm going to wait on that video so I don't jinx anything, but so far we're setting up with a pretty good winter here, at least in northern Minnesota where I'm at. But, uh, you know, to summarize here too, I'm certainly not declaring victory over the wolf thing. we got a long ways to go. There's a lot of fight ahead of us here to get a state-managed wolf season. Uh, but I think these are encouraging signs that we're seeing with the lower wolf numbers and the deer numbers on the upswing here. So... Let me know what you guys think. Take care, and I will catch you on the next video.